What is up, YouTube? It is Doc here, Docky Style Gaming, and I'm back at it again with another Power Rangers Battle for the Grid video for you all today. And this video originally was going to be something completely different, but as I stated in a video earlier this week, these next few weeks are going to be pretty game heavy in terms of news and information. And sure enough, this week alone, we've already got a bunch of brand new gaming info and news with Far Cry, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Sonic, of course. And again, like I said, there will be a lot more to come in these next few weeks. Now originally this video was going to be talking about the two new characters that just dropped for this game, but because all of this gaming news and info has been coming out and a lot of these games are getting a lot of love, I want to talk about this game in particular because it's come a pretty long way and I don't think it gets a lot of the recognition it deserves for doing what it did and becoming such a good game after all these years. Now of course that is Power Rangers Battle for the Grid that I'm talking about and again originally this video was going to be about just the two new characters characters that just dropped, Ryu and chun Li, and their ranger forms, which are great characters. Now as I was originally writing the script, it got me thinking that man, this game really did come a long way from the 9 characters that it had at launch to the no voice acting whatsoever, didn't even have a story mode, any good arcade mode at all, and a very weak online game mode or stability for the most part, I mean, and that was really all you had left to do. Now granted, the game wasn't even full price, I believe it was like $20 when it came out because I think the devs knew what this game was and what it was trying to be. It was just trying to be a good technical fighter and uh, luckily that's where this game succeeded and to this day I still think is one of the best tag fighters out on the market. They clearly put a lot of love into the combat mechanics in the game and let alone the people who worked on it were people who worked on some of the original Marvel vs. Capcom game. If you play Daishi you can clearly tell that's a very Venom inspired character and even Ryu that was recently introduced is clearly Ultimate Marvel. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ryu. Apparently they also had some former tag team champions work on helping with the combat mechanics and again like I said the combat mechanics is this game's strongest point and that's honestly part of the reason why I consistently come back to this game especially when a new character drops just because I'm so curious to see how they're going to play or if there's any influences with some other Marvel vs. Capcom characters. And to this day Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is my favorite tag fighter of all time. So anything that gives me that OG Marvel vs. Capcom gameplay, I'm all for it. And Power Rangers Battle for the Grid definitely gives you that with the combos. Even though it's pretty easy to pick up, the advanced combos can get pretty technical, but man, the spectacle is there and the juggle potential is crazy. And I love me my juggles in fighting games. Now, again, as I stated, the game launched, like I said, with nine characters at launch, which was pretty weak. There was no voice acting for any of the characters. It was just a couple of groans and grunts for each of the attacks. Again, and there wasn't any story mode whatsoever it was just lacking a lot of stuff now again luckily the game did drop it only 20 bucks so you weren't paying full price for half of a game or half of a half of a game but what was dope is that within a few months after the game launched they actually decided to give away three new characters add them to the game for free and then also we got a free story mode for everybody completely voiced along with some of the actors from the original show which I thought was a nice touch as well and overall by the end of it we now have over 20 plus characters with multiple skins some that were free as well and then of course some paid ones we also have a proper arcade mode that have individual stories for each of the characters in the game and their online in my opinion is probably one of the best in any fighting games especially a fighting game that does have cross play enabled was literally just running a tournament this Tuesday with a couple friends on all platforms, Xbox and Switch, and then of course me on PlayStation 5, and the crossplay and the stability was ultra freaking smooth. So the stability in this game, like I said, just from where it came from in particular, my god, everything is so much better and it's much more of an improved and polished game especially when it comes to the combat mechanics. And plus, if you're just a fan of Power Rangers in general, or have been waiting for another Power Rangers fighting game, this is definitely the one for you to pick up. The last time we've had a proper fighting game for Power Rangers was back in the 90s, the early 90s with the Sega Genesis. There was the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game, and I remember playing it. It was fun as hell. You play with Rangers and Megazords. Me and my older brother played it all the time, but compared to what we got now, it doesn't even stand a chance in comparison. So I'm super happy to have this game just 
the Power Ranger fan in me, but also being a fan of the fighting game genre, I'm glad that a game like this is this good and got so much better. From 2019 all the way till now, this game has come a hell of a long way and will always be a game that continues to pop up on my channel. And even though this wasn't the original intention for the video, I always wanted to put something out again talking about it because I was definitely going to drop a video on Battle for the Grid with these two new characters, but man, just looking back at it, it got me thinking I wanted to put a video out giving this game the love and respect that it deserves because again it's come a long way and it's improved a lot from where it came from and the price is killer by the way so they just dropped the super edition if anybody is looking into picking it up it comes with all the dlc that has currently come out and i think it's still all under retail game price so if you are interested in this game definitely pick it up if you're interested in just good fighting games definitely pick it up if you're a power ranger fan definitely pick it up this game is just fun as hell and again i think this game deserves a lot more respect than it's been getting but that's really all i got to say about this game i'm not gonna make this video any longer than it has to be so thank you all for watching again i highly highly recommend people play this game if you haven't at least give it a try if you haven't but other than that i will catch you all in the next one thank you all for watching like always be sure to leave a like if you liked the video if you didn't still leave a like and if you haven't joined the discord definitely do that as well i will catch you later thanks for the love thanks for the subs peace